Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a box here. Try not to show me a dress, but it's on the top. Um, full of goodies from e.l.f. The only thing I've ever tried from e.l.f. is this eyeliner, which is the Intense Ink Eyeliner. I bought this because I just saw it in the shop and I needed a new eyeliner. And I do like it. I haven't used it in a while because it's uh, run out. Um, but I've kept it so I know which one it is. Should I want to be purchased? But that's the only thing I've ever tried from e.l.f. And I really wanted to try some stuff. So... They had an offer on where if you spent £25 or more you got a free gift. So the free gift that I got was this um, Day to Night Lipstick Duo in the shade Needed Nudes. I can't see what you can see because the viewfinder is very um, blurred out because of how bright it is. Um, but this looks very nice, the colours look like they suit me very well. And then this clear eyeshadow palette in the shade Necessary Nudes. Um, I'll show you them properly in a second when I'm unpacking everything. Um, but yes, this is going to be like a mini elf haul and mini try on. I haven't got like one of everything, it's not going to be like a full face. But I want to try what I have. So, um, the first thing I actually bought is the um, Paulus Face Primer in clear. It looks like slightly pinky, so I really like this packaging. Um, let's get it out. I'm going to like try as I go, I think. Um, there's a bunch of other things I really want to try. Like there's loads of things I want to try. So I've got like the main things, sort of. <laughs> there's a lot of main things. Um, I really want to try some of their skincare. Um, there's like um, some more. There's like the plumping lip gloss I want to try. And... Um... It's completely left my brain. Oh yes, the eyeliners, like the sparkly ones, I don't even want to try them. Um, okay, so first off, this packaging is very nice. This is the smaller size, you can get it in a bigger size too. So I'm just going to, well that was easy to put them out. So it's like a white colour. Um, I've already moisturised, so I'm just going to plop this everywhere. I wanted um, like pore filling primer because lately on my nose, like my foundations just want to stick in my nose, so... I'm just putting it everywhere because I like to put primer everywhere. It smells quite nice. It's got like a, a cut. I don't know what exactly the smell is. Oh, it smells like tea tree oil. That's what it is. Um, so if you don't like that smell, it might not be for you. It's not like really strong. I'm trying to like press it in my pores a bit more on my nose. Because that is where my problems with pores are. And two pumps there really perfectly covered my face. Okay, so the Paulus Face Primer is £7.50 and the bigger one, this is for the small one, the large one is £12.50 but I also got this small. So the, the free eyeshadow palette is meant to be £6 and the lipstick, and the lipstick is £6. So basically you spend £25 you get a £12 gift free. That's pretty good. Um, okay, so let's, oh, actually, before I do anything else, I also bought the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator in Sweet, Sweet Cherry, and that is £4.50, so I'm going to try this. Um, so this, I have the, uh, not the Body Shop, the Lush Scrub, Lip Scrub at the minute, um, it's the... Mint juleps one, that's it. And I do like it, but oh, I've just messed it up. But like, it's a bit messy, you know? Um, and I cannot get this out. Oh, that'll be fine. Um, so I saw Elf had this one which is in bullet form, and I wanted to try it out so. Let's see, they also have, they have different flavours. I'll tell you which flavours they have. Okay, so they have brown sugar, this one which is cherry, mint, coconut, pink, grapefruit, and rose. So I got the cherry one, but I'm, the rose one sounds nice. Okay, so I'm just going to get a mirror. I have one right here. I'm just going to test this out. It doesn't look gritty, so I'm very confused. 
Oh no, now I can feel it. Okay, so. Mmm. Tastes nice. Oh, it's got like um. It's like they put sugar in lip balm. Um. Bizarre, because it tastes like lip balm and sugar. But that means it's moisturised my lips at the exact same time. Like, now I feel like I've just put... Oh, God. Now I just feel like I've only put, like, lip balm on. So, yeah, I really like that. And it's so mess-free. There's no sugar all over my face or everywhere. I really like that. That is a keeper. That is very good. Um. Okay, so for foundation, I'm just going to use my NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I'm just going to very quickly pop this on and get back to you and let you know how well everything's gone on. Okay, so I'm back. I've done my makeup, well, the face makeup um, of stuff that I haven't bought. Um, like, a products I don't have from Elf, you know what I mean? I have a hair on my face. I don't know where it is. Um, yeah, we had a little foundation um, tragedy in that I dropped a part of it on my white top, but oh well. Um, I want to say as well, about e.l.f. the company, I'm going to review them because I had trouble on the website to sign, signing up to the beauty club on there. Well, basically just signing up the website and I tried before um, ordering anything and during my order because it wouldn't let me get past the sign up page and I um, contact them after... Um, I did make the order because I, I like to make an account with people so if I, I can make a wish list of the stuff I want it gets my mind straight on what I want um, and I think it was yesterday actually no it might be the same day they did reply to me and they were the customer service was really good they replied to me really quickly by email and you know asking me questions trying to figure out the problem and they kept responding to me really quickly and they've offered obviously for when I do make an account to put the points on my account so the customer service at elf is top notch i'm very impressed and also the elf instagram page they featured one of my friends on there actually a friend who i've made through youtube it called amy kelly she has a channel i will link it below and um, she posted a photo of an eye look that she created using the new um elf palette i forget what it's called but it's got like oranges on one side and blues on the other um and they actually posted that photo and credited her and everything and she's obviously a small creator so I think it's really great that they're you know showcasing smaller creators um because she's very talented as well she deserves it so um I'm very impressed with Elf so far as a company and their products I'm really liking my lips feel great my foundation looks really good I mean my forehead doesn't look great because I started with a brush and that just no, I had to switch to a beauty blender. I've still got something, and where is it? I'm like, this is why I shouldn't rub my face in my dog's fur, because it goes all over me. Okay, so next I have the Beautifully Bare Targeted Natural Glow Stick with Vitamin E Fresh Morning Dew. This is £5. Um, I, wanted to, I also want to try the big highlighters. There's so many things I want to try. I want to try, um, I think it's like the serum foundation, the skincare. I've heard they've got... Um, like a hydrating range I really want to try and that magnetic face mask looks really cool um, the plumping lip glosses I want to try there's just so much I want to try um, okay so this they have it in a couple of different colours but I got like the nudie one I'm just going to try it, I feel like it's for a really natural glow It is removing my makeup a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But it's like a balm, so the kind of glow it gives you, it's not like a shimmer, if that makes sense. It's like, in fact, what might I do? I'm going to pop it on my finger. This would be really good for like a no makeup day. Okay, if I apply with my finger, it's all good. So it's like a balm, and you pop it on the high points, and it gives you that like hydrated dewy kind of look as opposed to like a shimmery or glittery highlight and I really like that I'm having a problem with 
my concealer and my primer. I've not used them together yet and for some reason on my eyes, they're like right at the corner here, they're like rubbing off. So that's brilliant. That's got nothing to do with anything else. It's just eye primer and concealer. It's the um, Maybelline Instant Erase Concealer and the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've not used them together yet. But they are not happy on my eyes. Um, yeah, this is really nice. I think I'll use it more on a no makeup day because I really like a blinding highlight. Um, but if you want to look really dewy, go to the gym and hydrated, this would look pretty really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, next we have, um, the Nude Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. I also want to try the other Rose Gold Palette, but I got, I couldn't, I couldn't decide between the two. And then I thought, well, this one looks like a really good dupe for the Naked 3 Palette, which I'd like to try. So, I had to get it for that. Okay, so these are the colours. Again, I can't tell how well you're seeing things. Um, but it looks like a it looks like a very good dupe for the Naked 3 palette. So like I had like said, I have already primed my eyelids. I'm gonna go in with this like base colour here. Um I like how it's got a little mirror as well, and I'm just gonna set that primer. Oh that's gonna nicely, that's kind of fixed whatever problem was going on with my primer there. It's gone on very nicely and kind of smoothed things out. Which is good. Um, okay. I'm going to go in with this colour and use that in my transition-y type area. I thought I'd go for this palette as well because I've got a lot of colourful palettes. I haven't got that many nude palettes. In fact, I don't think I've got a nude palette, <laughs> you know? I have shades in bigger palettes that can be used to do like quite a more natural look. But the palette itself is like, has bright purples in or every bright colour under the rainbow type thing, you know? I like the size of this palette as well. It's like a really, um, Nice travel friendly size. Okay, well, these are blending out like a dream. The pigment is great too, because I'm using a really fluffy brush. Um, and that pigment's coming out amazingly on this, because usually pigment doesn't come out quite so. But the shadows aren't quite so pigmented on a really fluffy brush. Um... But that's blended out amazingly, I don't know if you can see, but that's really good. So I'm going to go in with this like, medium brown colour and take that um, a bit lower down um, to deepen up the crease. They have blended in so nicely together, it's just like, you know, like, oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, um, I am going to take a different brush. I'm going to take a smaller rounded brush and I'm going to take the colour next to it which is like a slightly shimmery like darker brown and I'm going to pop that like on the outer corner I think. Okay so on the inner corner I'm going to take this shimmery pink, it's like a really nice baby pink shimmer. Um, perfect for inner corner highlight. Oh that's really pretty, I'm just going to put it I'm not going to like spread it out far, I'm going to do like quite a small highlight if that makes sense. Like just right on like the tear duct I'm putting it. And then with my finger I'm going to take this gold colour and pop that all over the lid. Oh that's pretty. And then with a clean finger I'm like tapping between them two shimmery colours I've laid down in the middle to blend them together. Okay so for the lower lash line I'm going to take that um, darker, like medium brown um, matte colour I'm going to just lay that on the bottom waterline. I'm only going to take it like two thirds of the way across. Okay I have a light on my face, let's just move around a little bit. Um. 
Okay, so my camera died, so I've put mascara on off camera, but I've swatched a couple of the shadows that I didn't use from the rose gold palette. So I swatched the pink and the two end colours. So that is them here. Um, they're all very nicely pigmented. The pink is, is like especially the very nice pink. Um, and then from the Necessary Nudes palette, um, I've swatched all them colours. So the two base colours you can barely see on my arm but the two shimmers and the brown you can see um, that brown especially it's a matte brown it's very nice and the shimmers are very pretty too and um, you can't really see the base shades um, like this one and this one on me because they're practically my skin tone um, but it comes with a little bit of plaster that says um, highlight base lid crease and line obviously you can do whatever you want but it's just a guide so for lips, um, obviously I have the, what's it called, Needed Nudes, Needed Nudes double sided um, lipstick. So we've got this colour here, I'm going to swatch on this side because I have eyeshadow on this other side. So this is the lighter colour and then the darker colour. I'm going to show you the new bullet. Oops, there we go. It's like a much darker, more red toned brown. Oh, both colours are so pretty. You could layer them on top and have like a nice ombre look. That would be really pretty. Um, I'm just going to go with the lighter nude for now. See how this looks. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It snapped. That was my fault, I had it way too high up, but it snapped and it's like gone on my highlighter and my jeans. So let's just shove that in there. We've now got a slightly highlightery um, lipstick. That sucks. Oh no. I've like completely ruined that. Oh no. That was such a nice colour too. Okay, it's still usable, but I like ruined that, like a lot. Oops, see, I'm just a total fail. But look how pretty it is. I like that colour too, very lovely. Oh, and they smell nice, and they kind of taste nice too. Um, yeah, they've got a very nice kind of like sweet smell to them, but it's not very overpowering um, at all. It's not like really strong. Oh, I'm over here. It's because there's this light on my face, sorry. Um... Okay, and we also have a lip oil, but I don't think I'm going to need to put it on top of this lipstick. So this is in Pink Kisses. I'm trying to rush because my camera's running out. Ooh, okay, that feels really nice. Um, it's like a very nice light pink. You could use it on its own as like a lip treatment or like a gloss over a lipstick. Um, I really like that. Yeah. Okay, well to sum up, I may fail. I'm so annoyed that I broke this lipstick. I mean the other side's usable, but it was my own fault I had it too high up when I tried to put it on. Oh, so annoyed at myself. Um, this eyeshadow palette I really like. It's lovely pigmented. Um, really, it blends so amazingly. Very nice. Um, I obviously haven't tried this one, but by the looks of it, the pigment's going to be very nice. The lip oil feels lovely. The lip scrub was very nice too. Non messy way to exfoliate your lips and it was a lip balm at the same time. Great. The dewy glow, well the glow stick, I wouldn't use this when I'm wearing makeup but I would use it like on a no makeup day to make myself look dewy and like naturally highlighted so I do really like that. I just wouldn't use it on my makeup. Um, and the primer so far I really like, my skin looks very good, nothing is settling in my pores at all, in fact you cannot see my pores, wow. You literally cannot see a single pore. I'm impressed, I really like that primer, went on very nice, um, everything's gone on nicely on top of it, so yeah. I. I'm going to have to make another elf order when I have money. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you'd like to see more makeup hauls, let me know in the comments. And anything else you'd like to see, also let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye!